Yeah, and we're going to do great things together tonight and fight great, great, great cause. Of course, you all know what this is all about. Uh, you know what. You know, you all know that one of the two, guess who, will break the shave. Uh, someone has done it already, and, and now there's only one left. And uh, we will make up a story about this all together. Well, what do I do look like? Does it need? Tidy, eh? Yeah. I didn't see any inspiration in the loft, love. Oh, well, I'm not quite sure. You seem to be quite... I brought a few pots down. Ah, yeah. Nice, this yellow one. We can play with this. Have some? Oh, thank you. <laughs> so, yes, you definitely look inspired. You see, tidying up the loft helps. You've always been against chores. Yeah. No, no, I've always listened to what my poor mama said. She always used to say the same thing to me. Get into a nunnery. <laughs> yeah, yeah. She wanted me to live a life of silence and order and contemplation. Ah, I don't know. How far is it to the nunnery? Oh, well, uh, we're in England, there are not many nunneries here anymore, so I could have a long way to walk. Do you know anyone I can ask advice for? I don't know, St. Charles. I've got a letter for you. It's highly confidential and secret. Oh, dear. So... This letter is highly confidential and top secret. Oh, I have never seen that paper in my life. Oh, well, 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 what else can we tidy up? You're always asking me to tidy up. It's not true. It's not true. It is. You go to work. And I have to tidy up. No, 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 no. This is not fair. This is not fair. Yesterday evening, I came back from work. I was that tired. We can shift. It was not a work in the park. And the first thing I told you, do you remember that? I told you, Sir, you are a liar and a fool. <laughs> because you always complain that I always want to tidy up. Well, all I wanted yesterday evening was to go out with some fresh air. I won't do it anymore. It's putrid. Well, it's putrid because we don't do it often enough. That's hence the smell. And Archie the mouse. Archie the mouse. Yes. Yeah. I liked Archie the mouse. Well, yes, he was a good chap. Sometimes I had the feeling that he could talk with me. He could talk with you. Yeah, yeah, mind you, it must have been the wind or something, but I definitely have the feeling that I heard him saying, E.T. phone home. <laughs> I mean, are you sure that it was a mouse? Well, Archie the mouse is generally a mouse. <laughs> yes, yes, it had that mousy look. <coughs> I've got something to tell you. Oh dear, what's going on? I drink to make other people more interesting. <laughs> it works all the time, darling. Oh. It even makes you more interesting. Oh. <laughs> oh. 
Oh, well, if it's time for confessions, then I have one for you, too. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Who are you going to call? Ghostbusters? <laughs> I've got the feeling that, I don't know, nothing in this house is alive. <laughs> well, Archie was alive. <laughs> yeah. I've got something that I need to tell you. Yes. If nothing we do matters, the only thing that matters is what we do. How deep? I'm getting quite deep these days. <laughs> That's after the drinking. Yes, drinking generally makes you deeper. Deeper. Oh, I see. And uh, is there something in particular that enhances your philosophical skills? Some drink that you may suggest me? Because, you see, I would like to be a little bit deeper, a little bit less concerned about appearance and clean and tidy and speak and span and perfect wife. And I would like to, I don't know, be more of a philosophical and artistic kind. Um, so you want some advice? Yes. Well, normally I'd charge you for it, love, but... <laughs> but as we are lovies. As we are lovies indeed, yep. Here is the advice. Yeah. A boat, Jack! A boat! <laughs> a boat? Yeah. Like living on the cars. That's it. We must sail away. My father had a narrow boat. He built it <laughs> at Gas Street Basin. He built it from the hull upwards. Made all the planks together. And built it from the hull upwards. Wow. It was a long boat. 70 feet long. Wow! 70 feet long! Just long enough to fit on all the canals. I must confess, don't they get stuck? Not on the... not on most of the canals. Oh, I wish I could have seen it. I wish I could have had a... a, a ride on that boat. And on the doors, there were castles. Oh! Roses and castles. And on the roof, there was a... A, a sort of watering thing, like for the horses. A buckby can, they call it. Oh. It had an engine. We didn't have horses. Uh, good, good. Bollinger engine. I remember going to sleep. Oh, it was nice to go to sleep as the boat was still going along. The sound of the boat going along on the canal. Oh. And the other people on the other boats all around, like a kind of strange gypsy community. People waving at you and saying, once in Royal David Cities to the lovely cattle shed. Mm. Castry Basin, actually. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That's more likely, but after a few pints, I guess that that can be Royal David City. I was a bit young to be drinking then. <laughs> yes, but the other, the other man in the other boat was not. The one who told you, Curious, sir, and curious, sir. Indeed. It was. It was just magical on the waterways. Oh, those were the days with my sister and me. Oh, that was beautiful. Enough with this tidy life. Enough with this pick and span house. We need a change. A change? We need a change. I want to leave this all behind. I want to, I don't know. Have my hair cut, travel the, around the world, do something amazing. You seem to be going to the hairdresser quite a lot these days. <laughs> oh, well. You only live once. Yeah. You only live once. And you've got to live it. Oh, yes. Memories, eh? Oh, I suppose that's not living life, is it, memories? <laughs> what kind of changes have you got in mind, love? I don't know. Let's start from changing and then we'll see. Pockets are empty. I've got a new change. <laughs> no worries. 
I pay for the hairdresser. See you later. I'll come in a while. Yes? Is the big boy? I'm thinking, I'm still thinking of that Royal Delhi city. Well, don't send me up in the loft again, darling. <laughs> no, 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 no. I don't know. And I was thinking of what you said about drinking giving you the inspiration. I don't know, where could you go and find some inspiration, some... Oh, yes. The right idea for a change. Oh, that's lovely of you to love to think of me to go to the pub. <laughs> oh, well, I'll see you later then. I love going to the pub. I'll see you later. <laughs>